Hey, I'm Mo's Toy Room. We're gonna unbox the Gaming Greats Star Wars The Black Series Stormtrooper Commander GameStop exclusive. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room and today we are going to unbox another one of the Gaming Greats from GameStop, the Stormtrooper Commander uh, this is from the Star Wars The Black Series line made by Hasbro. This is the six inch figures. So they're a little bit larger than your standard three and three quarter inch figures in case you're not familiar with these. And this is the first time to, for you coming to my channel. Uh, but anyway, what we have here is this beautiful rendition. Get in close on that. We have a nice, beautiful edition of the brand new from the game Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Gaming greats, as you can see right there, GameStop exclusive, Star Wars Deep Black Series, Stormtrooper Commander, and boy, am I in love with this box. This box just makes this item pop. It has it all just turned to the side right there. You can see that beautiful blue that they used up on the side right there. And also what I love about it is the fact that it is an exclusive because it does not have a number on it. And you know me, I'm not one for exclusives, but now that I own this one, I'm very happy that this box looks the way it does. Look at the back there. If only Hasbro would have did all the Black Series figures like this, instead of the typical black with the red on the inside that all of them came through having. Uh, I understand that they're going, getting ready to change and they're going to have a picture of the, of the item right here on the side and they're going to have more color to the box um i'm okay with these i i like these and i hope that they keep the gaming greats line looking like this to separate it from everything else um i mean i couldn't be any happier this thing is really nice uh, but anyway what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this thing right away from the very bottom right there it has one piece of tape right there let me see if i can get in there all right Hopefully everybody is sound and well. Okay, dealing with this whole corona coronavirus uh, that's going on worldwide. So do your part and don't forget to wear a mask when you go out. And, you know, keep your distance, you know, social distancing. Uh, that's what we're trying to do here in California. Some people don't understand it and they're getting it. Uh, but it is, you know, it's a, it's a sad thing, but hey. Um, just social distancing, keep your mask on. Okay. But anyway, here we do, here we have the beautiful stormtrooper commander. And as you could see what I meant, the reason I take it out from the bottom is because it leaves your boxes nice and minty other than the fact that the seal has been broken on them, but it's not like as if it's a package figure to where you're just going to tear it off the package. You could re put this guy back in if you want to store him for a later date, or if you want to put him out. For your display this works out just perfect we're going to slide him out of there there you have that nice background that makes him pop okay we have the ac and a fan going on due to this triple digit weather here in california it has just been hot as of late and right here we have the instructions sheet from hasbro way too small for me to see at my age uh, believe it or not, you know, I'm I'm up there in age, you know, I may not look it, but I am um, But here we have that But here is the star of the show right here getting close to this guy right here The stormtrooper commander many of you who have tuned in to see other reviews of this Already know that this is from the original sculpt I believe of the sand trooper one of the first ones that came out about a decade ago and they're they just keep repainting it over and over and giving us the same weapons they'll either put a little different color wash on them or whatever to separate them to make it according to the character that it is but i want to say something um let's pull this guy out of the plastic prison so i can say what i want to say oh yeah all right there's a few things that i do want to say and one of them is the fact that hasbro you need to Whoever is your designer of these figures and is the art designer or your paint designer or your paint scheme guy, whoever that guy or gal is, 
you better give these guys a raise because they are keeping you guys in business revamping these guys because they look like completely different figures by the time they're done these things are awesome and it's an older mold it's it's just crazy it's just insane that that they can just keep repainting these things and they look brand fresh and new and we're eating it up i mean as a star wars fan i eat it up um so hey thanks guys uh pat yourself on the back i mean for the paint scheme designer over there at hasbro Hey, if I ever met you, man, um, you see me at a toy show or toy convention or whatever it is, hit me up and I'll buy you a drink. No problem. No questions asked. So here he brings his blaster, typical blaster. Take a look at that. All right, we're going to turn to the other side right there. And then he brings a beautiful rifle. It's just hard to believe that this right rifle sculpt is so old and still looks so updated. They gave it a whole new clean new wash on it, but it's all about this guy right here, the Stormtrooper Commander. Um, need I say more? This is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful figure. We're going to turn him to the side right here. We're going to move his head all the way down. As you can tell, he should be on a dumbbell... Um, a dumbbell rocker kind of hinge well ball joint dumbbell ball joint that's the way i put it so his head should rock back and forth there you have it you see that and then he looks down and then he will look all the way up very nice he should rock side to side these guys have it all a lot of good head, head movement you don't get that on a lot of figures um hasbro gave it to us really nice here we go down to the right arm Due to the fact that I have unboxed a few of these on my channel, I already know that we're going to have problems with the shoulder pads. So his arm is not going to make 90, not even close. But it, it sh will swivel right here at the bicep, getting a little bit closer to that, which you could see, just leave that camera right there. And then we have that double jointed elbow right there. So he has a lot of good flex movement right there. He could go up and grab his gun out from behind or wherever he has it. Um, really nice. And then we go down to the hand area right there. He should have a small ball joint on there. There it is. Takes a minute to, to find it, but there he is right here. Okay, I'm going to say it again. I said on a previous video, um, a lot of companies are doing different things. And NECA is doing the thing where they have a hand on their Godzilla figures and I'm not sure yet on a lot of their other figures but I know on the Godzilla for sure they could have their hand open and close I think that maybe in the future maybe Hasbro might want to try that on one of their figures for that way you could install a lot of weapons and they could hold all the weapons instead of just trying to squeeze it through there and wear out the hand um, I don't know if it'll work but I mean hey that's what Hasbro is there for test it out guys give us something let us know about that what do you guys think all right so we're going to go to the left arm which may be on your right same exact thing just this pad just gets right up in the way right here they should have had it to where it could pop right up and then just maneuver around for that way you could get this guy to do 90 but hopefully they'll improve that on their brand new lines of uh troopers that they got coming out in the future and then right here on the bicep they have that nice swivel and then also he has a double jointed elbow on his left arm uh, nice and he can reach back as well and then you get the hand movement beautiful hand movement well made product just well made okay we're gonna go right down below the chest cavity here I can't really open his arms to show you but he has that big swivel rocker whatever you want to call it in there big uh, ball join up in there everybody now that we have seen that uh, that dumbbell swivel right here well uh, ball joint swivel right here we're gonna go down to the waist the waist does not move it doesn't swivel around I think it's just one piece connected right there but his artillery belt does move and is separate from the figure you can see that really nice a lot of people will try putting these uh, stuck on the onto the character and I prefer them like this this looks this looks original it's nice so let's just go down and see um, 
but yeah, let's just go down to his leg. All right, we're going to go down to his right leg right here. We're going to see how much of an Anderson Silva straight kick he can get. Not much going on there. Okay, just not much. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, they can make that improvement in the future. And then the side Bruce Lee kick. Not really much there. If these stormtroopers want to get into a fight with somebody, they better just stick to using their weapons. Um, and then if you move the things back, they do have that double jointed knee, which is really nice. And then we're going to go up right here and show you that foot swivel side to side. Very nice. I'm going to tell you, whoever does the, the swivel right here on the foot, do do me a favor guy and pat yourself on the back too because you did a really good job with installing that on this product forward toes right there very nice and then back very good movement i really wish too in the future maybe hasbro you could do like the mcfarland toys do and then right here at the toes make these things where they could bend back um and in case you didn't see my last video you could have them to where they're just kind of like running or whatever maybe they could you could see the toe bend right there all right and then we're going to go up to the left leg which may be on your right right here okay so we're going to see how much of an anderson silva kick they got there not really much not much going on there very tough okay the side bruce lee kick there you go it's it's a little bit better than the other side okay and then with the double with the double jointed knees right there bends all the way back beautiful rendition right there and then let's check out that rocker on that foot getting close to that foot please the rocker on the foot very nice and then does he point all the way down just keep it right there very beautiful get in on that very nice and then all the way up all right now here goes the test right here we're going to see how well his blaster goes into his holster which i guarantee it's going to go in perfect because they're all the same and they all did the same on the other figures and popped right in no problem right there okay now what i want to do is i am going to put his rifle in his right hand which may be on your left no problem there he holds every he should hold everything up real nice i just didn't have it in all right having trouble because it's just so hot here in california today all right this guy's hand is a little wore out don't know what's going on with that all right all right so anyway there you have it the stormtrooper commander looking as beautiful as he could look now hasbro these figures are $24.99 US dollars, correct? You've upped the price just about $5 uh, for the same exact figure that we've been buying, but because it's an exclusive figure, we're paying $5 more. Do us a favor, and in the future, at least give us a stand. Throw in a stand with these guys, give us a few upgrades. If you have to, give us a few more weapons to separate these guys from the other ones even if they are the same molds but i would prefer a stand maybe something that would look a lot like the character does and has a character name and the star wars logo on it it shouldn't cost you guys very much to make that and install it in there and it would just be a big huge appreciation for all of us star wars fans who have been buying your product i know for me for four decades from kenner all the way to hasbro okay and keep us happy, uh, keep us buying it, because you guys do make good product, and you guys do have really good ideas, and keep on doing your thing, guys. But anyway, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this um, rendition of the Star Wars, the Black Series Stormtrooper Commander today, um, and please do so, and if, you're, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please go ahead and hit a thumbs up on your way out if you liked it. And please don't forget to follow us on Instagram because we're there too. 
at most toys that's most toys m-o-e-s-t-o-y-s on instagram and we are also on TikTok, tick tock tick tock with the same name that we're using here on youtube at most toy room so it's most toy room on TikTok. you can follow us there for never before seen footage of toys that you may not think that we have but we have and ladies and gentlemen in conclusion from our toy room to yours thank you for tuning in to mo's toy room and see you guys next time all the best